you know, I enjoyed church, knew the reason for it. I knew there was a need to worship and fellowship, but just never had anything in common with anybody else in the church. When you get into a culture that is very heavily involved in horses, involved in cattle, those types of things, then you have to realize that there's a culture of individuals that work with those that really beat to a different drum. Uh, they dance to a different tune. And it's very important for us to realize that culture is what we have to reach out to. It's people that like to be very authentic. They want you to look them right in the eye and tell them what the truth is. Uh, don't back down. If this is what the Bible says, well then preach what the Bible says. But you better live it because they're looking for authentic Christians as well. A girlfriend at the time, who's now my wife, talked me into going to a cowboy church. Hadn't been back to church since I was 18. Uh, went and ain't looked back since. We have begun uh, cowboy churches here in the state of Oklahoma. Our first one is in Midwest City, where I'm the pastor. And that's been going on about a year now. And we've just now gotten our arena and barn and all of that. That ministry is going well was asked to pastor a new cowboy church. And after a lot of prayer and stuff, uh, got a definite sign from God, first one I've had in my life in 32 years. We have church in a barn, uh, no heat, no air conditioning. We baptize people in a water trough. I've baptized and, and seen people get saved anywhere from a nine-year-old boy to a 73-year-old man in the first uh, year of the church. What I've told people, I says is we are we are trusting to be, by God's help and by His grace, we're going to be a church who attracts people who don't like church. We're just a church and a, and a people and a gathering of, of cowboys that, that love God and want to see His kingdom furthered and His kingdom advanced. Uh, and we're doing it in such a way as it appeals to the cowboy culture, to that Western culture. I had a vision of planting a church in a cowboy church and we went out and found land. In 2006, we had our first service, uh, but we started with three people, and uh, to date, we're running about 450. Uh, we average about 100 people a year getting saved, and we grow by about 100 people every year uh, at the church. 80% of the people who come to our church have never been to church before. Uh, we're reaching an unchurched culture. Uh, people who, who are conservative, who believe in a God, they just don't have a relationship with God, and so we're able to connect with those individuals we're able to share the gospel with them and, and able to get them to come to the church and then begin the discipleship process in their life. You don't have to get cleaned up before you can come to Cowboy Church. You can come to Cowboy Church the way you are. Jesus took people just the way they were and we do the same thing.